video. In case you didn't know, my name is Amy. And I'm Gabriel. We just wanted to share a couple of the tips that we found exploring Athens that might help you as well. The first tip we have is that if you're going to be planning your own trip to Greece, most likely you're going to be arriving through the Athens airport. If that is the case, the Athens train or railway is a cost-effective and easy way to get from the airport to the center of Athens or the Plaka area. Uh, it is a 8 euro per person ride and it takes about 40 minutes and it is very easy and intuitive to use. It, it, it wasn't a very complicated system at all and uh, it was a great way to get around even within downtown Athens. Uh, it was way more cost effective than using a taxi, about 8 euro per person in comparison to about a $40 taxi ride to get from the center of Athens to the airport and it was a great way to get around the Athens center as well. That leads into our second tip, which would be to stay in the Plaka area, which is around about the center of Athens, as it is walking distance to almost, almost all the sites that you're gonna to wanna to see in Athens. It's walking distance to the Acropolis, the Athens Museum, and a whole bunch of great restaurants and coffee shops as well. Uh, there are a bunch of Airbnbs in the area, as well as a bunch of great hotels. And we do recommend that it is the area that you stay in in Athens if you wanna make the most of your time, as you don't have to spend a lot of time traveling. Our third tip for you is if you are exploring Greece or Athens and you want to enjoy some uh, coffee, you are in for a little bit of a different experience. Uh, the coffee that we're used to here in North America tends to be a bit more acidic and fruit flavored, uh, whereas the coffee we had in Greece tends to be a lot more bitter and have a much thick or richer mouthfeel. Uh, it wasn't bad, I really enjoyed the Greek coffee, but it was definitely different. Uh, some kind of different coffees to kind of be aware of is you have the Greek or traditional style, which is very similar to Turkish coffee, uh, where there's a little bit of grounds or the sediment at the bottom. So make sure you don't drink all that. Uh, uh, and then the other coffee that Amy and I both really enjoyed is something that the locals drink quite a bit of called a Fredo Latte. Uh, really just meaning cold latte. So it's their iced latte. The only difference to the iced latte is that we are used to North America is that they whip the milk first so it gets a nice kind of frothy foamy head so you still get the frothiness of a latte but it's just cold. Our last tip is in regards to the Acropolis and the Museum of Athens. We highly recommend going on the same day for both of these because they're right beside each other uh, and when you're going to go visit the Acropolis first and early on in the day. Uh, it tends to be pretty hot and sunny and there isn't a lot of shade or even water up at the top of the Acropolis. Uh, if you start with the Acropolis, you can go to the main entrance, which is closer to the Plaka site, opposite of the museum. Uh, and then you can just kind of start there. You can go through the entire Acropolis, see everything. And then when you exit, you exit on the back side, which is close to Diogenes' theater. Uh, once you go there, it's the museum is just across the street. And by the time you've gone through the Acropolis, it should be around noon or the, the heat of the day and then you get to go into a nice air-conditioned museum that was really beautiful, it's laid out really well uh, and the top floor, which I thought was the most interesting, is laid out exactly one for one replica as the top of the temple in the Acropolis. Um, it's got the same amount of pillars, it's kind of actually laid uh, offset from the rest of the museum so it's actually parallel with the uh, temple of the Acropolis. I thought it was really neat and definitely worth checking out. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that these tips were helpful, for, helpful to you if you're going to be planning your own trip to Greece anytime soon. We have some other videos as well. The next stop in our trip is to Santorini, so we hope that you enjoy that as well. Goodbye! See you.